Yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hey, man, what we going to do about these Black Lives Matter, man? Black Lives Matter. Man, what we going to do with these people, man? See, you know what sometimes I wish we could do, man? Stop touching me. What? <laughs> what you grab my hand for, man? I'm trying to get you a Stop t- touching me. <laughs> what you going to say? Man, I wish, man. I, this is what. I wish Trump, man. They printing all this money. Just make these people happy, man. Hell no. No, man. No, no follow me on this. Y'all print a bunch of money. Y'all give these people, Black Lives Matter, give them reparations and a ticket out of here. <laughs> <laughs> man, it. It's simple, man. They they printing all the money. They could just print the money and then they give them their reparations and a ticket out of here. Look, the problem with that, you keep printing money, that money ain't going to be worth nothing. It's going to be like Monopoly money. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to discuss right now is Black Lives Matter. They was outside protesting the jail because a whole lot of people had been doing some looting out there, like Louis Vuitton and these high-end stores up there. Yeah, they was uh, looting high-end stores. They wasn't looting Ross Dress for Less. (laughs) No, they going to Louis Vuitton, the high-end stores. They they ain't looting Walmart. Right, and this lady is out there with Black Lives Matter. She gave this epically stupid, ignorant speech. (laughs) I mean... When you think of Martin Luther King, right? Yeah, he's beautiful, man. He was beautiful. The man was brave. He was smart. He was educated. He was articulate. Man, Man. dude was amazing. Now watch this. (laughs) I don't care if somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike because that makes sure that that person eats. That makes sure that that person has clothes. Black Lives Matter Chicago rallied in support of people who looted and are locked up at the police station at 18th and State. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. But on Twitter, Reverend Jesse Jackson called the looting humiliating, embarrassing, and morally wrong. Jesse Jackson has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. Jesse Jackson was not there for the creation of Black Lives Matter. Jesse Jackson can keep his opinions to himself. I don't even know where to start. I will call her ignorant, but I don't even think it's ignorance. I think this is low IQ. Yeah, I think she's screwed. You can put, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. (laughs) I mean, she said it's okay to do it because they got insurance. Hey, Keith, is it all right to kill you if you got life insurance? Hell no. I don't like you, man. You got insurance, you're covered. (laughs) (laughs) Just blow your brains out. Oh, I just lost my job. No, I, I got another one. Yeah. Give hey, me another one. I bought this car. Yeah. Right? It's 500 a month. I don't want it no more. You can't afford it. I can't afford it. I shouldn't have bought it to begin with. Hey, hey. I got insurance. I'm going to burn this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to burn it. I'm going to go get me a new car. I'm going to have some money left off. I'm going to get something cheaper, something I can afford. That's reparations. That's what she said. Reparations. They can, hey man, hey Black Lives Matter, hey y'all want y'all's reparation, man? Y'all, y'all cheap, man. A couple of t-shirts and some sneakers. That's your reparation. Some Louis Vuitton. Yeah. What happened to the uh, three acres of land and the mule? <laughs> <laughs> a damn mule, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's back that home. was good back. Eight. What are you gonna do with a damn acre of land and some mule out here? Hey, I tell you what, you give me an acre of land and a mule, I'm good. I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna start planting crops. <laughs> start living off the land. <laughs> Man, see, this whole, what she fails to understand is well, that I, I black lives. Well, I think she lives, failed to understand a lot of things. Yeah, I don't but, even think she knows what two plus two is. Nah, I, yeah, she probably knows that. Yeah, she's going to say five, I guarantee you. You think so? I bet you ask her what three minus three, I bet you she says one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. Just cut your losses. I mean, I just can't wrap my head around. You can't fix stupid key. You can't fix stupid. You I mean, can't. she's she's right there. I mean, she's not saying this in her house to her friends or anything like that. Mm-hmm. She's being recorded by the news. She's saying this, this in front of everybody. The whole world's going to see this, and she's standing with her chest out like... Like, like she's Socrates. <laughs> and it's like the level of ignorance. Hey, Keith. What the... F- <laughs> hey, man, you can't fix stupid. Uh, Hey, man, the thing she said about Jesse Jackson, man. I mean, Jesse Jackson, I, I don't agree with uh, 
all and the that, stuff he stands for. But yeah. he did have, what was it, the Rainbow Coalition? He did a whole lot more for black people than Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter ain't doing for nobody. Black Nothing. Lives Matter is destroying black communities. Black Lives Matter is exploiting black men's death yeah. for, political. for political gain. All that millions, I think it's billions at this point. Yeah. What that money has it did anything for the black community? Yeah, I remember Jesse Jackson. He's with the Rainbow Coalition. He I mean, actually did things. He for was black actually people. with Martin Luther King when he got yeah. assassinated. He actually did things for black people. Right. Black Lives Matter has not d- done anything. Yeah, like if Martin Luther King was alive today, he would talk down to the people. I'm sure that stand behind violence because he said violence begets violence he was all about peaceful protesting he was about protesting not riots yeah that's what he stood for yeah and if he was alive today women like this a lot of people in the black community will call that dude an uncle tom a coon a coon that's a fact that is a fact he he meets all the standards he's black He's Republican. <laughs> yeah. He's Christian yeah. and he's straight. That man today by today's standards is a Uncle Tom. He's a sellout. Man. Hey man. Think hey. of all the strides this country has made as far as race relations. Yeah. I mean, we've had a black president. I mean, we can all drink from the same water fountain, go to the same restaurants. Yeah. Hell, you know I can saying? put on a dress and go inside a woman's restroom now. <laughs> we've made some some a lot of changes. <laughs> I mean, look how far this country has came. Yeah. But you have people, well, black people like this lady. Yeah. Well, don't forget, there's a lot of white people out there holding up them black lives matter signs. I mean, there's a lot of ignorance in this country. This is land of opportunity, and people are not taking advantage advantage of it. Yeah. I mean, people. To that lady that said these things, man, where do you draw the line? You said people can steal if they're hungry. They can steal food. If they ain't got clothes to wear on their back, they can steal their clothes. Okay. I mean, is that where cool? do you draw the line? I mean, is it okay if they come to your house and steal what you got because yeah. they poor and they yeah. hungry? Somebody knock on your door. Hey, I'm hungry. Open the damn door. I see y'all got some chicken wings in there. <laughs> I see some cornbread. I got, I got a bucket of honey with me. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. I want some chicken too, you know. <laughs> I ain't got nowhere to stay. I see you got an empty room, and yeah. I've been peeping through it for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, hey, you said this is reparations. Then, damn it, I want my reparations. Open the damn door. <laughs> Open this bitch up right now. <laughs> That's what you said, young lady. That's what you said. That's because, I mean. You need to take a, a foundation. You need to start all over. Go to kindergarten. And work your way back up to high school and take a course in philosophy, learn some critical thinking skills. Yeah. That logic that you're spewing, man. That um, That's not even ignorant. It's borderline low IQ. It's borderline crazy, man. That I mean, you can break the law. If that's the case, lady, if that's just reparations, then you might as well let I open mean, up the prisons. Yeah. That's what the NFL said. Oh, I, why did you kill him? Oh, man, he was doing, he was getting down with my wife. Oh, man, that's justified. He had insurance, right? Then that's okay. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, I was selling drugs. I couldn't find a job. Yeah. I was just trying to feed my family. I was just selling a little rock here and there, man, a couple kilos down the street. Man, I'm just trying to, just trying to survive, baby. I'm se- trying to send my kids to college. Yeah. Yeah, I just sell a little weed. Yeah. Some of it was laced with crack and he died, but, man, I, he should have known better. <laughs> I mean, it's just this logic, man, that's in the black community. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what it is? Self-victimization. Well, I blame this all on the Democrats. Yeah. That's who I blame it on. And that's facts. Because they've taught. <clears throat> they have not spoke out against this. Yeah. The rise and they keep calling these people peaceful protesters. Yeah. There ain't nothing peaceful about stealing somebody else's property or burning down their buildings. It's like. You're saying these things with a straight face. I'm like, how can you stand there with a straight face and say these things? How can this lady stand up in front of these people? Confidently. Confidently with her chest out. Like she proud. Like she's Socrates talking down to um, Jesse Jackson. Yeah, and talking down to <coughs> anybody who's against what they did. Yeah. Hey, you can't fix stupid. Disgusting people. Disgusting.
Dustin. Yeah. Hey, to support the Hogs twins. What you coughing in my damn commercial for? <laughs> hey, to support the Hogs twins, sign up and become a Facebook supporter today. It's only two ninety nine a month. Hey, that's damn near free. Yeah. Who ain't got ten cents a day? I know who. A liberal. <laughs> And you can pick up a patriotic T-shirt today at officialhogstwins.com. Yeah. If you want 20% off, just use discount code Chinese Virus. Yeah. We call it Chinese because it comes from China. Yeah. We making T-shirts great again. Chinese. Yeah.